Hey everyone, I'm Almar of AlmarsGuides.com and in this video here I'm going to show you how to get Alanides War Axe in Elder Scrolls 3 Morrowind. So the NPC that gives you this axe, drops this axe more accurately, is in the Tribunal Expansion. She's found in the town of Mornhold. So in order to get to the town of Mornhold, the uh, first thing we're going to need to do is get to Ebonheart. So we're starting out in, uh, in Balmora, as you can see from the start of my video here. Nice little neutral starting location. And we're going to take the Guild of Mages Guild Guide Teleporter to Vivek. And then once we're in Vivek, we're going to use Divine Intervention to be instantly Greetings. teleported to Ebonheart. So right here, Divine Intervention. And we're going to be teleported right on over to Ebonheart. Now, uh, right in front of us is the Imperial Chapel door, but we're actually wanting to go into the Grand Council Chambers here because we want to sp speak to this person, Asian Ran Rene, or Rain, however you want to pronounce it. So once you're in Mournhold, we're looking for the God's Reach District. So you want to go to this Palace of Brindisi Doram right here. And then God's Reach is the entrance over here to the, uh, the west. So once in God's Reach, let me do my local map. We're looking for the NPC in the uh, northwestern corner of God's Reach. I'll head over there right now and show you. Just head on. She stands in right here. And it's worth mentioning she is part of the Warlord side quest. If you complete the Warlord side quest for the Tribunal expansion, you will have to give up the War Axe that she drops. However, um, if you don't plan on doing that side quest, it doesn't matter. You can keep the War Axe. One thing I would recommend, though, is get her to attack you first. Either taunt her through persuasion, the persuasion window, or do what I'm about to do and use a spell like this, which I've aptly named Fight Me Bro, which will cast Frenzy Humanoid on her and make her attack you first, which means you avoid any penalty for killing her. So there we go. No crime committed since it's self-defense. And she drops the War Axe right there, as you can see. And it is as simple as that to get this war axe and she also drops this robe which is a pretty nice robe as well it's like amulet of shadows just instead it's a uh a robe and it goes higher than what amulet of shadows does it doesn't last as long though so keep that in mind but that's really all there is to it if uh if this video helped you guys out please leave me a like because that'll help me out and if there's anything i left out or any additional questions comments concerns anything like that you have please leave a comment below and let me know and if i forgot anything you'll let everybody else know too that way everybody gets all the information they need. Aside from that though, I will catch you guys around in future Elder Scrolls 3 Morrowind videos. Peace.